We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jared. Doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm not going to complain. Kyle, this is our first, well, purposeful in-week episode in a while. We actually did a in-week episode just a couple of weeks ago, but that was a hurricane-assisted, not so much planned, which is fine. That's that's life sometimes, but this is our first, I had, this is our first in week episode planned in week episode in a minute uh this however uh is a it's a new tradition but it's not our first time doing it it is a good tradition though yeah what do we you have know, on I, what I, do I we gotta, have on i gotta, I gotta start i gotta start off with one of your favorite topics here jared and that is of course weather uh a lot, lot of people in the discord card. today talking about how today felt Felt like it's fall is coming. Little, this is, this is a cool, little chilly out. This is, this is what this is what Ohioans call false fall. Mm -hmm. Yep, we we had one. We had one here in North Carolina a few days ago. It was a little bit cooler, and then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, it's going to warm back up here. You know, every every Ohioan knows that you always have a false fall and a false spring before the real ones come. You always got your false start spring, your false start autumn. All right, that's that's how this goes. Don't get excited. It'll be 90 degrees again here very soon. It's still August. Yep. Don't get excited. That's all I'm saying. Now, you can, however, get excited about football, which football is just right around the corner. What are we doing today, Kyle? Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Great. So great. Monday, great. So great. Monday. Great. The transition. Yes. Uh, a plus 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 plus. Uh, ooh, we ooh. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle just wants to shut me up. We. Covered, but we covered the Big Ten on Monday, so we're gonna operate into the national here. So, not gonna not gonna waste too much time here because we're not just doing one conference. We're doing we're doing the national scope here. We're gonna yeah, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna do our lovely uh, grading system. Our so those list. who haven't those who haven't listened in or seen one of our episodes here, we we love doing our. Um, our grading system based on letters here, uh, S to M tier. So this Hold year, on, this me, year, this year, we're going to pull be, it up. This year, let me pull it up. Yep. This year, we're going to be doing a, this year, a little bit different. Last year with the 14 playoff, it was the S tier was who's going to be in the playoffs. Yeah. So because this is now a 12 team playoff system, we kind of have uh -huh. to tweak our grading system a little Gotta bit tweak here. It. So, so. I would describe it for those that's listening in here. So M tier still remains the same. If you're putting to M tier, massive disappointment. We had that. Yeah, few, I, I want a few team. We had we had that with a few teams like Miami, LSU for a few weeks, and then they they Colorado. got themselves out of M tier. We had Colorado uh, in, in M tier last year. Um, Colorado as well. Yep. I, I just because people always tend tend to confuse what m tier is and i've actually added for the people watching on youtube i actually added labels now because people always seem to be a bit confused about exactly what the letters meant um m tier is not just for a team that is bad you can go 0 for 12 and not make m tier because you were indiana and no one was expecting anything from you anyway m tier is for example like Michigan can end up in M tier. Michigan is ranked in the top 10, top 15, depending upon where you look. I think they're headed toward a 500 ish season. If, if you start off ranked in the top 15 and then don't even make a bowl game, that's an M tier team. So M is about a team that missed their own standard and missed it hard. That's what M tier is. Yep, absolutely. S tier, then, as Kyle said in the past, was just the top four teams. This year, a li uh, for Kyle kind of talked about this, but, you know, it's a 12 team playoff now. So now S tier and A tier must total 12 teams. Yep. However, S -tier. Kyle and I are free to spread out those 12 teams however we see fit if we think there are two teams that are cut above the rest it'll be two and ten if we think that there's five teams a cut above the rest you you guys can do math yep. point is is so that S kyle and i are no longer locked into putting a specific number of teams into s tier 
It's just that S and A need to total 12. Mm -hmm. So S tier is favorites to win it all. So instead of four teams, favorites to win it all, could be two teams, four, six. We'll see how this, how the, uh, how the season goes along here. A tier, a playoff team. So like Jared said, S and A could total 12. B team is the playoff bubble. Uh, so this could be explanatory. It can be as, as many yep. or as few teams as we want it to be. Yep. And C is everybody else. C, C means you're not worth talking about, quite frankly. Exactly, C yeah. means you aren't. We're not going to spend time on you. That's what C means. All right. All right. Let's let's jump in, into it here because we are six minutes in and we haven't brought up one team yet. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kyle, before. Uh, so let me let me let me say this is how I think we should start. All right. We all we did a on Monday, we released an episode that is a Big Ten preview. We're not going to talk about any Big Ten teams in detail. We already did it. So, Kyle, can we speed run placing the Big Ten teams into our tier list? Let's sure. just speed run the Big Ten teams. Yep, we, we, we will. OK, so. Ohio State is in S tier. Yes. Yep. Yes. And put in Oregon as well, too. Oregon, also S tier. I, in my personal opinion, and I have not consulted Kyle on this yet, there are four teams, a cut above the rest. Two of them are in the Big Ten. It's Ohio State and Michigan. Now, that being said, I absolutely believe that Penn State. Yep, Penn State. If I can find them. Bottom middle. But uh, there we go. There you go. Is a, a their expectation right now is absolutely to make the playoff. I think they're they're a top 12 football team. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. And playoff. Anyone bubble. else in the Big Ten yep. that should be in the playoffs? Nope. Mm, nope. No. Nope. OK. Uh, playoff bubble. On yeah. that, on that edge, on that edge, there we'll put in. Right now, preseason, I'll put in Michigan. That's fair. Put, put. I don't. In be- oh, I don't. I don't believe they belong there, but as of right now, Iowa. I agree. And Nebraska. I agree on all counts. Um. Where the heck Iowa's is... Iowa to the left, uh, there, bottom. There, we, there, there you we, go. There we, There's there the go. Hawkeyes. All right, that's it. That's it for the Big Ten. So that's that's your speed run there, Jerry. USC? Uh, USC in the playoff bubble? I think they're a big unknown to me right now, so I'm not going to fight are. for them or against them, quite frankly. Um... Well, let, let's let's see how the rest let's see how the rest of the okay see how the rest of Fair. this develops and you will see on that on that border there with c and b so we'll we'll keep them there so all right i'm just going to start with the the obvious here if we are if we're done with the big 10 i i mean yeah the the, the only okay i my only critique to your b tier placements was maybe adding usc but again I, i'm not even passionate okay. about that all right all right, let's let's finish the S tier, joining Ohio State and Oregon. Yeah, yeah. And that's the two teams from the SEC, Georgia and Texas. Yeah, I, I, I Kyle and I complete agreement on this. There are, and for the record, I don't think this is some sort of like we're 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 not we're not breaking any ground here. We're not saying anything that you guys probably haven't heard someone else say. Uh, these four teams are the cu- uh, cut above. I, I would bet a fair amount of money straight up. One of these four teams is your national champion. I would bet a fair amount of money. Even with the if this was last year, even with the preference towards conference champions, and and everything that was the old system, I would have still said these are your four playoff teams. I don't like the ACC this year. Sneak peek. I don't like the ACC this year. Um, the, the Big 12. 
I mean, Oklahoma and Texas are gone. What, what do you, what do you want me to say about the Big Twelve? Um, these, these are your four teams. I and I feel incredibly confident about that. Like, this is the S tier. We don't have to put four teams in there anymore. I just want to put four teams in here now. Yep. Now, Kyle, that does mean that per our own rules, we have to have eight teams in the A tier. Just right. to to hold that out there. Sure. All right. Let's add in. Let's add in Alabama. Yeah, I, I think uh, Nick Saban's gone. The, the the I don't think we're going to see Alabama continue to be the Alabama that we saw under Nick Saban. I, that's not a fair expectation to put on literally any team ever. Mm -hmm. That Alabama team during those years, the consistent excellence we saw was psychotic. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see that again. Straight yeah, up, I don't think we'll ever see that again. They they definitely have a... But they're still it's a, it's a very a good team. I really like the coaching hire. I like Alabama a lot. I just don't yeah, think they're that they're of, in that above cut right now. Yeah. They they got some tough games this year, just looking at schedule. Uh, they, they do have a home against Georgia. They are, before that, they are heading up to Madison to take on Wisconsin game to keep an eye out they are heading to tennessee on the road to lsu on the road to oklahoma they, they, they got some they get some tough games this year so yeah it, it it's it'll be tough for it'll be tough for alabama but definitely definitely a playoff team i i think um preseason here in, in my mind um uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I know it depends, I know you but I, I, I think preseason wise, yes, it's just, it's always incredibly difficult, even when the, I still think that the, the trip to Wisconsin is a bit of a trap game. I said mm -hmm. this on the Monday episode, Kyle looked at me like I was high. No, Wisconsin isn't the best. Yes, Alabama is a better team than Wisconsin. But man, you just see teams screw up in like that first September with a first head coach, even when the talent's deep. We have to just see how quickly they can acclimate to a new coaching staff. And quite frankly, yep. lost a lot of talent, both to the draft and the transfer portal, uh, mm -hmm. as Ohio State fans are very aware of with Caleb Downs. Yeah. Um. I know you mentioned that you don't like the ACC, but you know they got they got talent. They got a very favor. They got a favorable schedule. I got to put Florida State in there as a playoff team. I mean, I mean, one team does yeah. have to make it from the ACC. One team does have to. Okay, that's a, that's a very fair point. I'm not buying the Miami hype. This is it's a tradition in college football, like any other pretending like Miami's good during the preseason. I'm, I've been doing this too long and I don't mean podcasting. I just mean watching college football than to just buy into random Miami preseason hype. So, yeah, I mean, we do have to include, we don't, well, technically Kyle, after the, de after the dissolvement of the PAC 12, the playoff rules for this season were was was changed. The rules were changed. The rules were changed. Um, it is now the top four highest ranked conference champions. So it doesn't you don't have to have an ACC team technically. Will we? have? Yes. Yeah, we will. Uh they're still the third best conference. It doesn't mean a lot anymore where there's clearly, I mean, I don't know, Kyle side, quick side conversation. SEC, big 10, ACC, big 12. Yes. In that order yes. this season. Yes. Yeah. Um, that I, I don't think that's disputable, quite frankly. Um, the, but like the big 12, Eh. 
like they do have Utah this year. They picked up Utah. Utah is going to be a decent team. And that's all I have to say about the Big 12. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Um, Speak, I mean, Kyle, I mean, just speaking of they you, we have to have four conference champions. Yeah. Put in Utah. Yep. I, put in right. Utah. Put in Utah. So, I mean, there's your official Sloopcast prediction as far as. I mean, I, I, oh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll predict Ohio State to win the Big Ten. Kyle and I have collectively picked Florida State and Utah to win their conferences. Kyle, Georgia, Texas, LSU, Ole Miss. Who, who do you have winning the Notre SEC? Day? No, oh, who do you have SEC? winning the SEC? Georgia. I got Texas. Okay, okay. We're, we we disagreed on one. We disagreed on one. Cool. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I, I like both of the teams a lot for the record. I think they're both excellent teams. Yep. But I'm picking Texas. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Somebody else here. Not not in any of those conferences. But in Notre Dame, I think I think Notre yeah. Dame has a decent shot with their with their schedule. Uh, their toughest games. I'm looking here. They go a home opener or not home, but opener at Texas A and M. They play Northern Illinois, Purdue, Miami of Ohio, Louisville, Stanford, Georgia Tech, Navy, home to Florida State, okay. Virginia, Army, and at USC. Their, I think their schedule, based on their schedule, I, I got to put them out of playoff team yes, right sir. now. Most things don't actually expire. It, the, the expiration's a lie. Um. Austin, you should be able so, to hear me now, by the way. I just I just literally just now noticed what was wrong. You should be able to hear us now. Let me know if that's true. Uh, Austin, hey, can someone just can someone in the chat just tell Austin to leave and come back in? Um, he should be fixed now. Um, the. Um, Yeah, so so who else would you add after after Notre Dame here? I'm thinking Ole Miss. I I would say Ole Miss. I'm a li- I'm not as high on Ole Miss as I I would say people are nationally. The Pick Six preview has them fifth overall. By the way, once again, we did this on the on the Monday episode. I'm going to do it here. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Pick Six Preview. They play a huge role unofficially with our with our big preseason preview. Okay. Um, just shout out to them. That's all. Um, I'm not nearly as high on Ole Miss as a lot of other teams are, or as a lot of a lot of the national media is. Um, sure. That being said, I still think that I, I don't think they're a top five team. I don't think they're a top five team. I do think they're a top 12 team, however. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that statement. Uh, who else? Who else should we put in here? How many teams do we got there? We got 10. We got 10. We got two more. Two more two spots. More? Do you want to add? What do you want to add another Big Ten team? Do you want to add another SEC? ACC? Who would you say, who would you say our options are? I'm going to, I'm going to throw this out here. Again, kind of similar to like Notre Dame uh, with their schedule, but hear me out. Hear me out, Jared. Missouri. Missouri as a play, as a playoff team here. I I think that's a totally fair assessment. Um, I think they're there's toughest, a lot they're of game. They're tough. They're toughest games. Alabama, Oklahoma. Austin, can you, well, you can, uh, can you try a different device? Um, they play Murray State, Buffalo, 
Vanderbilt, Massachusetts, Auburn, South Carolina, Mississippi State, Arkansas. They got a very, very favorable schedule. Um, you convinced they say me. it's the soft. They say they say it's the softest SEC schedule this year. So I put them in there. I put them in there and heck, let's last just, team. I mean, we we talked about maybe. Um, let me see. The other teams that I have here, kind of on the border here, would be Oklahoma, LSU, and Oklahoma State oh, are kind of LSU. the last ones that I have. Yeah, I think we should include LSU. Okay. Uh, looking at looking at LSU's LSU's schedule here, they do open up to USC. They do play UCLA. They have a really tough schedule. That is true. They play Ole Miss, Texas A and M, Alabama, and Oklahoma this year. It's 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 a tough tough sled for LSU. If they if they if they come I, out Oklahoma is nothing they special come out, this year. Okay, but if they come out hot and they're undefeated coming into uh, the Texas A and M game, yeah, watch out. I now yeah, I mean we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see about LSU. They they did lose their offensive coordinator. They did yeah. make defensive they did make defensive coach changes, so they theoretically should be better on the defensive side there. But we'll see. I, we'll I think see. the conversation. For this last spot, should probably be Clemson, LSU, or, or Oklahoma State, a, a second Big Twelve team. I think I'd take if we're going to do a second Big Twelve team, and that's not the criteria. We don't have to. I'd almost rather do Kansas State if I'm being if I'm being real with you. I have Kansas State and Oklahoma State right next to each other, so. <laughs> um. I mean, sure. Let's just do Kansas State. Okay. Um, just for the fun of it, if I can find Kansas State in the in the sea of teams I have down here, I don't see them. If I, if I don't find Kansas State real quick, I'm going to put an LSU in there. There we go. Kansas State. All right. Are we, all right, before we, all right, so th that is our two, four, six, eight, 10, yeah. 12 teams. All right. Th those, that before is our move, playoff before, prediction. Before, before, before we move on and maybe have some rebuttals here, let's take a quick ad break here and we'll, we'll get to the rest of the teams here. Uh, if you don't want to hear any more ads, you can go ahead and head on over to, uh, to the sloopcast.com where you can find all of our lovely links there to our YouTube page, to our Discord server, and also over at um, patreon.thesloopcast.com to become a patron of us. And you can get a link to not listen to any ads. So if that interests you, head on over there, become a sloopcat, and um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the time with in our discord server. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and take a quick ad break and uh, get right back to it then. All right, Kyle. Um, I've been, I've been avoiding looking at this. I want to say that. So now that we actually have our playoff prediction up, I wanted to take a look at the pick six preview playoff prediction. All right. We agree on all but two teams. All right, I'm looking at this now. And they have they actually have Miami winning the ACC. I do not agree. Um nope. And they included Boise State as one of their 12 teams. Now, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and acknowledge this off the top. I don't know a lot about what the uh Boise State folks are bringing to the to the table this year. I'm just going to say that um I I could be wrong there. And quite frankly, I'm not here for Boise State. I mean, I want I want a group of 5 team to make the playoffs. Yeah, and and that's that's not happening until 2026 is the first 
group of 12 or group of five is coming I know. in though. I know. All right. So they, they have like Boise state as 12th then. Listen, if, Bo- if Boise state can run the table and be 12 and zero in a 12 team playoff, I think you have to oh, invite no, 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 I'm mistaken. I apologize. Um, Champions of the Power Four automatic blitz along with a non AQ champion. Okay, so we have to change this oh. then, Jared. So, okay. So my first, I apologize. Wow, I thought that was happening in 2026. That is. So yikes. let's drop Kansas State out. I honestly, I may not include Boise State. I, I may say maybe like Liberty. Uh, I probably put did- Liberty in over Boise State. Did Liberty have a coaching change? Do they still have the same head coach? I feel I, hey, I don't know, man. I, I I am I'm just gonna own this. I'm not I'm not gonna act like I I'm not gonna act like I don't uh, or that I that I know a lot about the group of six so far this year. Um, I'm not, and I don't want to pretend like I do. Quite frankly, um, you don't know shit, Jared. Hey, looks like Austin got his. Got his audio working again. Um, <laughs> I yeah i i don't want to I don't want to roll in here like an authority on the group of six because I quite frankly don't know. Um, it's 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 harder to keep up with such things in the era of the transfer portal, quite frankly. So I don't want to I don't want to roll in here acting like I know shit when I don't. Um, that's that's just me being absolutely real with everybody. I straight up don't know. Um, I mean, if you want to keep Boise State, that's that's fine. But they, oh, I don't want to do it just because Pick Six Preview did it either. That's that's the thing. <laughs> like I don't they, just want to. I don't want to copy un, and paste undefe- their answer. They went undefeated. They went undefeated last year and played. Um, Played Oregon in a in a bowl game. That's last year, they got, though. That's they, they, they got destroyed by them, but that was last year, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's just if you don't li- know, just put li- if you don't we'll know, throw, then just we'll put Liberty we'll because just throw I Liberty. Said, so. Okay, this is Kyle. Kyle is owning the addition of Liberty. God, that's that's a first round buy right there. That's a first round buy. I'm just going to say that that's you want to be ranked number one to play. I just realized I can only hear Jared. This is my personal hell. Kyle, see if you have, nope, see, have him muted or something. Um, I do not. Yeah. All right. We, we got, we got to keep moving on here. So I, I think, I think the next best thing here, Jared, it's, I guess, kind of go in order of how you have it laid out and we, would, and we say yes or no if they were a playoff bubble team. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Purdue. No. Can, okay, hold on. Can you start up? Can, can we go high and come down low? Let's not start with Purdue. All right. Um, we're going to be here Texas, all day. If we're starting with Purdue, we're going to be here all day. Texas A&M. Yeah, that's a bubble team. Um, top, top, start from the top left. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of see me skipping through some, <laughs> through some teams here. <laughs> um, oh, you're see. going on this order. I am. Yeah. BYU. Uh, BYU going to be BYU? this year? No. Okay. No. no. Uh, not Duke, not U- uh, UCF. I, I like Wisconsin. BYU will be good. Would you call them nah. playoff bubble though? No. no. Nope. I mean they 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 play in the Big beat, 12. Beat Alabama now. Uh, beat Alabama and we'll talk. Yeah. I like <laughs> Wisconsin more than the general public likes Wisconsin, but I'm not putting them in the playoff bubble. All right. Uh let's see. Illinois. Not Minnesota, no. not Illinois, not Florida. Not your Golden Gophers, Jared? Not golden my golden, they're not, not my golden golfers. Uh, not Auburn, not Virginia, not Stanford, not Pitt, not Iowa State, not Houston. I mean, let's go ahead. I, I again, don't buy this hype. Let's go ahead and add Miami. 
into the playoff bubble. They are a talented team, but that never has really meant anything for them in the past, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. Um. Oregon State isn't going to be the Oregon State that they were last year for many reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kyle, resident uh, triangle area expert of North Carolina, how the Tar Heels looking? No. Okay. Um, but let's let's take their brother and Raleigh into the playoff bubble, bubble though. NC I mean, State, the, AC, the, a, the ACC is not a weak, that strong in. It's a weak ACC. NCC has still has a still has a decent defense. That's, a, that's like a bubble bubble though. That's a, that's it, a that double is bubble. A bubble bubble. That's a that double is a bubble bubble. bubble. But it's a bubble 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 bubble. I, 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 bubble, I, bubble. I, I think that's really the only other ACC team I would add. <laughs> uh, looking at the looking at the rest of those this not list not Mississippi here. State not Vanderbilt nope. not Virginia Tech not Syracuse not Baylor not Texas Tech West Virginia West Virginia yep yep let's add West Virginia I mean kind of like the ACC spikes they, they, I they know make, it everyone but Kyle knows it but they, you're right they, they could make us they could make a splash in the Big Twelve I mean it, they just gotta they just gotta beat out Utah so maybe. all right. And, and I, I would, I would add. Congrats in, to West Virginia, by the way, for no longer being the biggest outlier in college <laughs> football, with yeah. Stanford and Cal joining yeah. the ACC. Um, I would also add in Kansas, Kansas State. Big Twelve is wide open. I heard, well, we already added Kansas State. Yeah, let's add, let's add Kansas. Nope. Uh, not Kentucky. Not UCLA. Um, LSU, LSU well, yeah, I would add LSU to the playoffs. You said bubble. Kansas. Yep. Or said Kansas? Kansas. You have your mouse there. Yeah, you had your mouse there. Er, to the Did right. I? To the right. There you go. It's the one that's a Jayhawk. Um, you got it. I knew you could LSU, do it, uh, you know. You do it when the camera's on you, and it adds mm-hmm. a layer Oklahoma, of difficulty to Oklahoma it. State. I don't Oklahoma State. Yeah, yeah. I, Oklahoma State. I think Oklahoma State, along with West Virginia, are the two, probably the next two in the Big 12. Um, who else did I have in my list? I guess I had Tennessee. Do you want to add Tennessee? Kyle, do everybody's you want to go see Everybody's UNC high on Tennessee finish. like they are with Miami. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, I... I with God, Kyle... I don't know if you meant to do that or not, but the comparison of of Tennessee and Miami is chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Uh, um, I agree. Um, another another team people are are really like this year, and I again, Big Twelve being wide open that it is, the Wildcats of Arizona. I okay. So here's the thing about Arizona. Mm-hmm. Arizona they do, lost they do, their. They do have their. They do have their quarterback. Arizona they lost. Do have, but they lost their head coach who backfilled the Washington job. Mm-hmm. But they had that. They had that stellar freshman uh, Noah. Noah. Uh, uh, Noah. Fafita. I think that's how yeah, you say. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm not going to co-sign your pronunciation, but yes, <laughs> as you shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fafita. Fafita. Okay. Uh Rutgers no. Fresno no. Indiana no. Arkansas I think we're no. Skip- I think we're skipping Washington one. State no. I think there's South one Carolina last one no. that you could Well, I guess there's two the others. Thundering uh, Herd no. Maryland no. Oklahoma. TCU, no. Cincinnati, no. Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma's a, whoa, mm-hmm. Oklahoma's a bubble team. And you have right. them upside down. I will, yeah. I, I all sort, <laughs> all, listen, a lot of things just went wrong there. They did. Uh, some teams, some, some, some people like Louisville this year. I just, I don't see it. Yeah, I, I'm going to co-sign your lack of faith in Louisville. Clemson? Clemson, I... I guess, Listen, yeah. 
they're the ACC's if they were in the SEC or the Big Ten, they'd be at best they, they, middle they of those the, conferences. Yeah. I, I agree. Austin's right. Like they have the talent. They, yeah. Can they it's pull it's the same. It's sure. the same thing as Miami. If if they were playing in a real conference, by which I mean the Big Ten or the SEC, they'd be middle of the road. But they play they'd in the Rutgers. SEC. They'd be Rutgers. That might be a little harsh, but <laughs> here's the thing: I don't know how harsh it is. It is too harsh. <laughs> they'd be USC. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Or Wisconsin. I they yeah. Quite frankly, yeah. Uh, I mean, they have better skill right, two, players than they have better skill two, players two. in Wisconsin. I, I think Wisconsin is better in the trenches, though. Mm -hmm. uh, two teams left here. I'm not entertaining Colorado. I don't think they're all that good. Nebraska USC is also Washington. a good comparison, but you're, the point is still the same. Mm -hmm. It's they're they're a you, middle of the road Big Ten team, but since they're in the ACC. Mm -hmm. USC, USC and Washington are the last two. USC is absolutely. I mean, we literally just got done saying Cle they and Clemson are on mm -hmm. par with each other this year. Um, a 10 and two Clemson probably doesn't make it. I, that's interesting. I'm, I'm not saying you're right or wrong. I'm not saying you're right or wrong about Clemson. Here, 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 right, ready. Let's, let's, let's look so at Clemson. So how quick. they lose this, to Georgia spend, might be a big. Spend, spend 30 seconds real quick on, on Clemson here. Georgia, as just mentioned, played, playing Georgia first, first of the year. They play App State. It's not a given. App State's supposed to be decent this year. We'll see. NC State, Stanford, Florida State. So they play three, I mean, Georgia top tier, Florida State playoff team from what we have projected, NC State a bubble team. So three pretty pretty good um, opponents uh, in their first uh, five weeks there. But it's it's a we're going to find out real quick about Clemson, but then the rest of their year, it's not going to help them. Not going to help them out. So if they get destroyed by Georgia and yeah. lose to Florida State or lose to NC State, they have no games left. That's going to help them. The Citadel, no. South Carolina, no. They they got to come out after their fifth game. They got they got to start off being four and one. If they if if they want a shot in the uh, in the playoffs here. It's, because it's their, not schedule, just, their schedule would not help them out. It's not just four and one. The, they have to look good in that loss. Yeah. yeah. If they get blown out by, by Georgia, that's mm -hmm. it. That's the end of their season. If they lose yeah. closely to Georgia, okay, then we can have a conversation. Yeah. And we, we can have playoff team. We can have playoff teams that have three losses. I, I totally can see that. I being, think being that those teams, but generally Clemson, speaking, but Clemson as a three loss team will not get it in. Generally they, they speaking, all, they lose all three of their game. They lose all three of their ranked current ranked opponents right now. Yeah. There is no quality wins to put them in. As of right now. Generally speaking, and I'm sure if we like went down through every single ACC and Big 12 schedule, Maybe we could find an exception. And of course, at least one mm. ACC team is probably going to make it. But generally speaking, the only three team, the only three lost teams that are going to make it are going to come from the SEC and maybe the Big 12. Or excuse me, the Big 10. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Maybe um, the Big 10. One. One last one last one in here, and I did not see it in your teams there. And you you, you mentioned it that pick someone? six has it in here. You have it that pick Boise. six has it uh is Boise State. Yes. I would have Boise State as a bubble team for that at large. Don't look at my files. Yeah, don't look at Jared's files. Yeah. Don't look All at right. my files. Um I'm sure I have Jared's, a Boise. I'm yeah. sure I have a Boise logo in here somewhere. While Jared's doing that, 
perfect, uh, perfect we, time to go ahead and sorry, perfect man. time to go ahead and hit up uh, uh, our second ad here. So we'll take a quick ad break and we will look at our board here and have a discussion and and uh, go on from there. So we'll be right back after this break. And we're back. Right, we are back. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure I have a Boise in here somewhere. Just allow me to have a moment. I you are having a moment here. Well, so, I am having a moment. So, all right. Well, Jared, Jared's Here's doing the that. Spiders. That is, how, how that the is Richmond. Richmond. <laughs> how, 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 can I offer you a Richmond That's, Spiders or a Coastal Carolina? Coastal Carolina. <laughs> can I offer you a Coastal Carolina? I know that you asked for a Boise. I'm offering you a Richmond Spider. Yeah. Hold All right. On. Well, Let while me just Jared's still do, while Jared's still doing this here, quick overview uh, for those that, again, hearing it, not seeing it visually here. Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, Georgia are our S tier, which meaning are is favorites to win it all in our minds. A tier is the final twelve teams, so eight here, no particular order of Penn State. Alabama, Florida State, Utah, Notre Dame, Ole Miss, Missouri, and Liberty. And then our Boise, Boise's been added. And our playoff bubble team is Nebraska, Iowa, Michigan, uh, Kansas State, USC, Miami, Tennessee, West Virginia, NC State, Kansas, LSU, Arizona, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Clemson, and Boise State that is now made its way onto the chalkboard. Yes, sir. Now, now Jared, hold on. You want to have a little fun here? You want to have a hold little on. fun? I, I feel we're not done. We're not done. No, you're not done. Was Washington and Colorado. Colorado, no. I agree. I I I don't think Washington at this point either. Washington's on the bubble bubble. They're on the bubble bubble. They are in, they're they're in the double bubble, I would say. One loss UCF ends the dream. You think you think UCF's a one loss team this year? We're talking about Florida. Why would you be talking about Florida? That's just that's just a waste yeah, of time. I, I don't even. I, I know I why I they're talking. I know you live there. I know. I didn't even entertain Florida. No, we did not even entertain Florida. The Gators as a playoff bubble team. Um, you you, you, right, you want to hear yeah, this? You, 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 you were you offering hear... Kyle. If I remember correctly, you were offering fun. I was. I What's, was. What what fun do you have to offer here? Do you, Do you want to add teams to the M tier? <laughs> I mean that that goes against that would be predictive. Right? You want to predict um, who's going to be a massive disappointment? Sure. <laughs> now, hold on. I just want to say for the record, this is the official tier list. This is the official tier list. Mm -hmm. Anything that happens, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and go up here take a screenshot and click sit. No, take a screen. It's it's Photoshop. How dare you suggest I would take a screenshot <laughs> within Photoshop? Hit, Am I a hit caveman? Print, hit, hit print screen button on your keyboard. There's an export feature. It's Photoshop. <laughs> did I peak that time, Austin? <laughs> I, I guarantee you I did. Um. Surprisingly, no, I don't think I didn't have my face directly into the microphone. That's probably why. OK, let's 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 do a predictive M tier. Let's do predictive M tier again. So M tier, this is a reminder, M tier. We add those add teams that is a massive disappointment. So it would be. Teams that have high expectations. So look at those S, A, and B tier teams. And if well, they start losing a lot, losing a lot of games, yeah, yeah, then they go down to M tier. As I mentioned earlier in the episode, like last year, LSU started off the season as M tier. 
massive disappointed to start this year, but they, they, they crawled their way out and they had a, they had a much, much Welcome, better season at the end of the year. All right. Now, Kyle, it should be noted. We already kind of predicted some of who we think the massive disappointments are going to be. Uh-huh. Um, because we already ranked some of these teams pretty far below where mm-hmm. I think the general consensus is placing them. Um, mm-hmm. So if we take a look at that, I think we're already on our way to this prediction. <laughs> um, let, let's, let's, let's start with Austin. Let's start with Austin's predictions here. Let's let's pick these one out of time here. So he has. Michigan, Missouri, Ole Miss, Penn State, Miami, and Nebraska are his main contenders. I mean, we us- we, we literally used Michigan as the example at the beginning of the show. Mm-hmm. They're yep. they're being predicted as like a top ten, top fifteen team. I think they'll go five hundred. I think they'll be lucky. I mean, they'll be lucky to make a bowl game this year in two different ways. They might end up bull band, and even if they don't end up bull band, they're still looking at a 500 schedule. Mm-hmm. Missouri, as Kyle pointed out, the schedule's weak. I think that's partially why we have them in A tier, not because we well, think they are an A tier team, although I do like Missouri. That, it's that, it's m- that their schedule is weak. And that might be the perfect recipe them to have to be in the m tier as well too um i'm pulling up missouri trying to as we as we speak here looking looking at uh what they have here should rank them on Um, merit not schedule with the format we're doing we are essentially picking the playoffs we're predicting the playoffs so I understand like the merit versus sometimes you predict what happens and sometimes you evaluate a team as a blank slate, as a, as an independent thing. Uh, I understand the merits of both, but especially like but the difference between S and A tier is going to be Kyle and I's opinion. We're going to put the teams who we like the best in, in S tier, but at the end of the day, the com- the combination of S and A are going to be the teams we think are going to make the playoffs. Mm. Well, here, here, I mean, one thing that Missouri's got going for them here, uh, they they're not really losing many players. Uh, according to Pick Six here, ranked eleventh in terms of return productivity, eighty two percent of their productivity is returning for this season. But they they. They got they got most of the players back for this year, so I'm kind of on the fence. Um, they 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 got the players. Can can they put it together? They they got a ten win season, a ten plus win season last year. It's it's all setting up for them to get a really good run this year. A favorable schedule. Yep. I'm maybe not maybe maybe not yet. Maybe not yet for me for Missouri. I I I think. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to stand here and say Missouri is 100 percent going to make the playoffs. Um, But I do think that they're a top 20 team. So I Mm -hmm. I don't think you put a top 20 team in massive disappointment. And again, a factor of that is their schedule. Mm -hmm. Uh, Also, I want to put this out there so I look smart. Arizona will win the big 12, well, big 12 and make the playoffs. That is called planting your flag. Um. And I would be more apt to agree with you if their coach didn't go to Washington. I I really liked Arizona last year. The coaching turnover there might be difficult to overcome. But hey, a really good quarterback gets you a a lot of credit in college football. You, you You can do a lot of things with a really good quarterback, and I think they have a really good quarterback. That guy right there. Uh, next one he has on here, Ole Miss. Ole Miss always seems to to disappoint. I think Ole Miss is overrated. 
83, um, 83% of their productivity is returning eighth in the country. Yeah. But like if Ole Miss is going to be that good, why did Judkins come to Columbus? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Ole Miss. I don't love Ole Miss. Um, what's their schedule? I mean, Ole Miss also mm-hmm. has what I'm calling the Penn State uh, rule, the Penn State advantage in that the sure. SEC West is dead. All right. You they no longer have to play in the SEC West. There is no more SEC West. What does their what does their schedule look like? Berman. MTSU. OK. Wake Forest, Georgia Southern. OK. Then they get into the SEC, uh, Kentucky, South Carolina, at LSU, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Georgia, Florida, Mississippi State. That's a that's a good that's a good SEC pull. That's a good that's a good pull. That's a I good mean, schedule no, pull. No tech, no Texas, no Alabama, uh, no Tennessee. Uh, they play they play Georgia and LSU. Yeah. That's a good draw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said, I I wouldn't put I wouldn't put all yeah. this to a disappointment. Not, I I agree. I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um, mm-hmm. um Okay, hold on. We we already were shitting on Miami. Let's go ahead and yep, toss Miami add, down yeah, here. Add, yep, add Miami. Yep, add Miami down there. Uh Who else the were we shitting on? on there? Let's add Well, he wants us to look at Penn State. I think Penn State will make the playoffs this year. Yep, I agree. I don't I think, think that's think a... Penn State. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put Penn State there. Let's. And then the other one he had here was Miami and Nebraska. We had Miami there, so Nebraska. I mean, there's a lot of buzz around Nebraska so, right now. I'm I'm really yeah, I'm really torn about Nebraska mainly because they've been a disappointment for a number of years, recent years too. So is there really that I have an expectation for them to do well this year? I know there's a there's lot, a lot of, of hype, hype, but there's hype. Um th- that being said, they don't seem to actually be ranked all that high. The the hype tends to be very internet hype. Yeah, I mean, they're, again, don't take anything, don't take this seriously, but like preseason rankings, nobody's ranking them. Right. Take that I mean, if we look, uh, I mean, Pick 6 Previews has them at 33rd. Uh, I, the, the hype is very internet based. I don't think it's very expert based. What did I have? I had Nebraska. I I still have they, my they, document open. They also have a week schedule. They do. Yeah. I I have them losing just three games to Ohio State, USC, and Iowa. Um, wins over Colorado, Illinois, Rutgers, UCLA, and Wisconsin. So, I mean... Nah, I, I, you wanna, I want to add Nebraska. Okay. I want Kyle, to add Nebraska. You want a bold prediction? Mm-hmm. You want a bold prediction? Let's M-tier. play it on me, buddy. Oh, Georgia. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at the offseason they're having. Their schedule is awful. Yes, it is. And look at the offseason they're having. It feels like half of the players have had some sort of speeding infraction. They're a mess off the field right now. And even if you get an SEC style of a being banned for the four, or the first quarter against an FCS school is a punishment. I'm sorry. I think you can look at this as 
being indicative of a team that's not taking their offseason very seriously. A tough schedule and what can be perceived as, like I said, a, a, a team that is not taking their offseason very. And again, massive disappointment comes with expectation. If you're Georgia, the expectation is go to the SEC title game at the very least. That's the expectation. The expectation is to, you know, at the very least, make it into the final four of the playoffs. If those are your expectations, eight and four is a failure. Eight and four puts you in massive disappointment territory. Whereas, you know, LSU or Clemson might be real happy with an eight and four this year. LSU wouldn't be, but you catch my drift. Maybe Tennessee's real happy with an eight and four this year. That's a massive failure for Georgia. That's a massive disappointment for Georgia. So this is a sliding scale. Tennessee will not be happy with an eight and four. Their fan base won't be. But everyone outside of the state of Tennessee will say, hey, that was pretty good for Tennessee. Let's be honest. Everyone outside of the state of Tennessee will be like, hey, good job, Tennessee. That was a good eight and four season. Do you, I I think that they're Georgia right now feels like Ohio State in 2015 feels like Florida State in 2014. This feels like a team that has already collected their flowers and thinks that they can just sort of drift into the season and be fine. That's what I'm seeing out of Georgia right now. I, I, I think Georgia is setting themselves up for a massive disappointment. So we'll see. I, yeah, I, I agree with these spikes. I'm, I'm here for it. I just, I just don't see it. Kyle, I'm going to ask you to bring maybe not equally bold, but I'm going to ask you to bring a, I'm going to ask you to bring a big prediction. This, this, by the way, and we're not going to forget to do it at the beginning of the year. You remember when we were picking our chaos games? Mm -hmm. Th this is that. This is me saying, pick your, not your chaos game, but your, your chaos season. Who has the chaos season this year? I don't know how we would how we would reward points for this exactly as in a bad year, as, as in a disappointing year, what is the most M tier who's going to miss their expectations? The worst. It's kind of like how in, in, in the middle of the season, we predict a, if you know, you predict a, a an upset and the points you get off of that upset are based off of the rank of the team that loses. This I is that kind of kind of want to say Notre Dame. I don't think that's ridiculous. I, I don't I don't quite frankly have a great feel on who Notre Dame is this year. Um, I mean, pick six preview has them ranked as sixth. The AP preseason has them at seventh. Um, you're going to pick Texas. Notre Dame schedule is ass. Th th that's factual. But they also can't like L LSU's national the, the coordinator that I was at LSU um, is back at Notre Dame this year. So maybe offensively, they they'd be a lot better compared to last year. I don't know. Uh, 
they did they did add they did add quite a few people from the portal if you remember uh riley leonard the the duke superstar is over yeah. at notre dame as well yeah and that's an excellent pickup uh, for them they got that um receiver from clemson i'm drawing a blank on his name um uh, they added him in the wide receiver um group there as well um Notre Dame Notre Dame's got to improve offensively. Defensively, they were there. They were there last year for the most part. They got to get their offense together. So, but no, not Sammy Watkins, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll add Notre Dame as my disappointment here. I, I think I think they were playoff. They definitely should be a playoff team. They definitely should be, but. Yeah, um, I think Notre Dame's Bo a solid Collins. pick. Bo Collins. There you go. Um, yeah, I yeah, I, I think so. I I'm gonna go for broke on my prediction and pick the num the preseason number one. That's that's my take on it. All right, you got you got any Z spikes before we wrap it up here? Yeah, Austin pick Texas. <laughs> Spike says he's good. <laughs> Spike's like, nah, I'm good. All right, cool. Um, we we, we are we are at that. Yeah, we are at that hour mark. So we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Any in the last comments here, Jared? Uh, well, I was going to ask you if you have anything in Kyle's corner. Uh <laughs> I. Real quick, hey I Austin. Really, um I really the don't. first Missouri's first year in the SEC, they won the SEC East. They did. I'm I I acknowledge that the SEC is the deepest conference. It is, but I do think people really overhype. The oh my god, they're playing in the SEC this year. Uh, whatever like it's texas texas has talent that can mm -hmm. match up with anyone in college football right now yeah who who was it was it you austin that um that also your name it? is austin just that uh where where, where is it at? um why can i not why can I not find it? Here it is. In the yeah, in the breaking news, um Ohio State Oregon primetime, primetime on NBC on October twelfth. Yeah, I well Kyle, we proved we knew this was already gonna be the case. Anyone who watched yes. our big game draft knew it was going yep, that was gonna be knew that yeah. was gonna be the second pick, and we knew that was gonna go to NBC. We knew this already, not to mention yep. just to toss this out there. It's in Oregon. They weren't going to play that game at 9 a.m. No, we have we have to think we have to minus three sometimes when we're thinking about these things now. We do. They weren't going to play the game at 9 a.m. All right. Now, I mean, that's that's something that's something we're going to have to take in consideration uh, this year is like, yeah, looking at not the just four this years year. over there, like are maybe there is I, I haven't really looked closely at all the schedules here, but are there any nooners for for any of those um, four Big Ten teams out west heading on over to uh, Eastern time? Zone? One of the biggest cheats in like. NFL gambling is finding a West Coast team playing a one o'clock game out east. Because those teams always underperform because they're playing at what is 10 a.m. for their body clock. It's one of the biggest like cheats in. You know. In in gambling for the NFL. Early, early on, Jared, early on every game here is 3.30 or later. Yeah. That's, I'm sure, not an accident. Mm -hmm. Like I see USC and Michigan are is a 3.30 game. 
and I see um, Washington and well, I guess I guess we'll, we'll we'll find out. Washington Rutgers is an eight p.m. game there, but whatever. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it should always be a seven thirty or three thirty if they're coming over to um, Eastern Time. Yeah, yeah, uh, agreed. All right, Kyle, do you have anything, Kyle's corner? Uh, that's it. Well, that clock that was, really was was the it. was the clock conversation. That Kyle's was. corner. That that was yes. All right. Tonight's ending music uh, brought to you by a Columbus-based band called Fields and Plains. Fields and Plains. Um, so with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support local podcasters. Once again, this is Fields and Plains. <laughs>